Eleven nations of West Africa commit to a military deployment to restore the ousted president of Niger. Here's a summary of the article. Niamey, Niger. Eleven West African nations have agreed to commit troops to a military deployment aimed at restoring Niger's democratically elected president following last month's coup, an official for the regional bloc said Friday after a defense minister's meeting. The 15-member bloc had not detailed which countries would join, nor has it said when the force might enter Niger. The 11 countries don't include Niger itself and the bloc's three other countries under military rule following coups, Guinea, Mali and Burkina Faso. Musa said an ECOWAS delegation may visit Niger on Saturday to try to pursue further dialogue with the Niger junta. In a region rife with coups, Niger was seen as one of the last democratic countries that Western nations could partner with to beat back a growing jihadi insurgency linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group. The overthrow of the president nearly one month ago has been a big blow to the United States, France and other European nations, which have invested hundreds of millions of dollars of military assistance into training Niger's army and, in the case of the French, conducting joint military operations. Militants are taking advantage of a gap in support by France and the United States, which have both suspended military operations in the country, as well as Niger's distracted security forces, which are focusing on the capital and concerned about a potential invasion from regional countries, say conflict experts. This post received a score of 3,500, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Assuming they let him live long enough to be reinstated. So, what happens if the junta executes the former president? New elections. Who wins? IDK who wins. I am guessing a lot of people will die that supports the current coup. So the guys who don't support the coup will win. Holy bro. Benin, Cape Verde, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea-Bissau, C. T. d'Ivoire, Liberia, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. I don't know if I'd mess with Nigeria alone, let alone any help, if I were Niger. Came here to say the same. Doesn't Nigeria have 220k troops to Niger's 30k or so? They do. But Nigeria is already struggling with its Islamist insurgency and criminal gangs. A lot of Nigerian senators raised concerns about the intervention, citing these ongoing domestic issues. Any significant troop deployment is surely risky. I would prefer this over any Western intervention, supply weapons at most. But in general I think Africans need to help themselves with certain issues. Greater than supply weapons at most. I think we're learning from Ukraine that Western intelligence might actually be more valuable than Western weapons. Information is its own kind weapon. Half joking aside, you are very correct. So here's this sequence of numbers, which may or may not be something important. With that being said, what you do with this number and where you drop your artillery shells is none of my concern. Enjoy. Why the image of the post is some guys checking a junk car? Is any one of them the ousted president? Is the car a metaphor of Niger? Google image search. West Africa. Jesus the amount of astroturf in by barely active accounts on here is astounding. You think people are being paid off? Dude, Reddit is a haven for bot farm attacks on stuff like this. Look at all the accounts at the bottom. Very inactive, 2-5 to five years old, maybe 2-3k to three K karma. Yet suddenly they will have major opinions on world events. I swear a solid half of them are you, word, word 2, 4 numbers. Yeah, that's the generic names that Reddit suggests for you or whatever. I have pretty much resigned to the fact that during my life I'm going to see a lot of pointless war and unimaginable suffering caused by fascist idiots and the people who, without fail, try to justify not doing anything about it through sheer ignorance. If it cheers you up a bit, climate change will make things infinitely worse, so now it's comparatively great smiley face. The generals in Niger are making noises about neocolonialism and exploitation but I doubt that there's any real ideological commitment there. A war would be expensive for ECOWAS. If the generals can be assured that no harm will come to them if they yield and they can retire abroad, they can probably be induced, through cash incentives, to restore Bazoom to power. Hopefully this is just posturing to make their asking price go down.
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.